Good morning, it's Tuesday, 24, uh, 20th February, 2024. Welcome you, uh, Rabbi Simon. Hasdan Obey. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Spirit, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, glad as all who with us can obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Abu Father, good morning. We thank you for this beautiful morning. We pray to see you this morning. Thank you for your love and thank you for Jesus. He is our peace. Bless us today with your living and mercies. Bless us with your presence of your Holy Spirit. Help me to teach your word, speak to me, and help the Holy Spirit, help our viewers through the Holy Spirit to make it clear to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Episode 25. Episode 25. Um, uh, remember the series, it's a 95 episode series. Uh, judgment is the judgment is the everlasting gospel. It's based on the first. Uh, angel's message of uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6 and 7. Uh, for Jesus is our lawyer and Jesus is our judge. Uh, Daniel uh, 7, verses um, uh, 10 and verses 20, uh, 22 and 26 and 27 says and confirms that the judgment is done before Jesus comes back. Uh, it's very clear. Uh, judgment favors the saints. It's not against the saints. So it's against sinners who recognize their sin and recognize that they are born sinners and they're repentant and they come to the foot of the cross and they crucify themselves and repent. And Jesus imputes into them and he imputes into us his righteousness for he has taken our place and a substitute for our death because sin, the wages of sin is death. And that is why the the, the judgment is always uh, everlasting gospel. Throughout the, uh, throughout the Bible, from Genesis chapter one, 3 up to uh, Revelation chapter 18, it just filled with stories. Uh, it's more than a thousand stories uh, that says that judgment is the everlasting gospel. Uh, Revel uh, episode 25, uh, episode 24, we have come to introduce that um, it says that uh, John chapter 17, John chapter 17, remember, and verse 3, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So what is eternal life? Is to know him, and we know him through the what? Through the word of God, and it confirms in verse 17. Uh, it says in verse 17, sanctify them in thy truth. Your word is truth. So there's nothing else uh, in this world uh, to be a safeguard, to be a surety, to be a guarantee to you is that the what? The word of God. But allow the Holy Spirit because the word of God, the Bible, was inspired by holy people. And holy people, when I mention holy people, they are sinners saved by grace. And God inspired them through the Holy Spirit. And they were written by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. That's why we can say it's the Word of God. They contain uh, grammatical errors. Yeah, plenty of grammatical errors. We'll go into that uh, another time. So today, if you want to be sanctified, you are made holy. You are set apart. Uh, you are separate from the worldly and from uh, the, the deception of Satan and the deception of these Pharisees. It is that you have to know him by the Holy Spirit sanctifying the truth. And the truth is in the word of God. Uh, that is the beauty of knowing God. So what is knowing God? 
we have learned what is going knowing God. First of John chapter 1, verses 1 to 4, and then verse 29 is Jesus is the word. The word had created the world. There was nothing in creation that was created by God. God was created by the word, which is God, Jesus Christ. So Jesus is your creator. First of all, you have to know that Jesus is your creator. First John chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Second thing uh, we have to know about Jesus Christ is that he is your lawyer. First John chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. My brethren, do not sin, but if you sin, you have an advocate. In the Greek, it means the lawyer. And in with the Israelites, we already seen that. That the priest acts as the, uh, as the advocate or the lawyer during the morning sacrifice and the evening sacrifice. Uh, and the, but the, only the high priest enters once. And that is the only time that he enters the temple and he enters into the most holy. He goes straight into the most holy where the Ten Commandments are uh, in the Ark of the Covenant. And on top of the covenant, covenant is the two cherubs. And between the two cherubs, when God comes and settles in the temple, it's just kind of glory, his glory. And there, the blood is sprinkled there, the mercy is here. So everything in the temple is just the ministry of the, or the lawyer or representing Jesus Christ. That's why when, that's why when Jesus died in Calvary at 3 p.m., the evening sacrifice, the veil that separates the holy from the most holy was rent into confirming that the temple on earth is finished. There's no more temple. There's no need for another temple on earth because Jesus is the antitype of the temple. He is the temple. Uh, we have seen that. Uh, that in the Revelation chapter 21 and 22, in the new earth and the new heaven, that is, after uh, 1,000 years in heaven, in Revelation uh, 19, Jesus comes, and Revelation 20, we spend 1,000 years in heaven to see the judgment why God had decided uh, during this time, before he comes again, why those people are not in heaven. We have already, already done, uh, deal, with, deal with that part of it in Romans chapter 2 because they were, uh, the Jews were, uh, the Israelites were criticizing and uh, they were mocking and they say that the Gentiles, the heathens that do not know Christ, that do not know uh, Yahweh or the Lord, uh, they won't be heaven. And Paul said, oh no. You criticizing them, uh, you know, you are the hearers of the word because you, you, you claim to do to know it, but you know the truth is because you break it uh, secretly. But these uh, these heathens that uh, Gentiles that you are, uh, that you are mocking and they are making fun, just like the Pharisees in chapter uh, the eighteen of um, Luke, and you know, see that it, it's just talking about Zacchaeus because in the chapter next chapter chapter nineteen it says Zacchaeus. Uh, they are the doers. Uh, the Holy Spirit is talking into their conscience what is good and what is bad. So you have to know, you know, what Jesus is. So Jesus is your lawyer. And John chapter 5, verse um, 22, verse 27, and verse um, 30, that God the Father has given all authority of judgment to Jesus Christ. So who is Jesus Christ? Jesus is the uh, creator. Jesus is your redeemer, the Lamb of God. In the temple, you know, the morning sacrifice and the evening sacrifice. Uh, if, uh, that every human is a sinner. Nobody is righteous. So uh, Jesus is your lawyer. You know, Jesus is your judge. Uh, now, uh, Jesus is the word of God, you know, who incarnated, who came in and were born. And Jesus is the word of God, which is the living Bible. So everything. Jesus said in uh, chapter 5, John chapter 5, he saw. You search the scriptures, you think that you'll have eternal life. No, this, the, the, the word of God just reveals me who I am. So oh, if you want to know who God is, you have to go to the scriptures. When Jesus was talking, uh, doing that in John chapter 5, the only scriptures was the Old Testament. So if you want to know Jesus, want to know more, Jesus, uh, more about Jesus, you have to learn the Old Testament. You have to understand that because everything that is talked about, every, every little detail, it's just talking about who Christ is. I hope and, and trust uh, that you will uh, love God. Pray this prayer. If you, this is the first time now. Abba Father, uh, have mercy on me, for I am a sinner. If you are recommitting your life, uh, Abba Father, I recommit my life. I want to know Jesus more uh, through the truth, through the Bible, by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, next one is episode 22.
Jesus.